Liberia. It was a country engulfed in war, its women bearing the brunt of the conflict. While peace finally did come, the legacy of violence against women continues to haunt the country. But Liberia's women are now taking positions of power and filling roles usually dominated by men. And in the process, meeting a key UN development goal, the promotion of gender equality and empowerment of women. We want to take a look now at how women in decision-making positions are helping to pave a new path to their country's future. From palm trees waving in the wind to waves lapping on the shore, it looks like paradise. But for more than 14 years, this was hell. Liberia in West Africa was shattered by a bloody civil war that began in the early 90s. Some quarter of a million people were murdered. But when the bloodshed finally ended in 2003, there was one group who had played a very important role. It was the women who really took up the challenge. Ellen Johnson Sirleaf is president of Liberia and Africa's only elected female leader. She says the women rallied tirelessly for peace. They, they sat in the sun and the rain so many times. They forced meetings with the Liberian president and the pres other presidents in the region, forced a peace. It was their strength, she says, that paved the way for Liberian women today. This is the story of how the nation is once again relying on the power of women. This time to help rebuild the nation's security and restore law and order. The president has set a goal. 20% of all Liberia's security forces today, including Liberia's national police, must be women. He sent a message to women that you have your own that are now part of the protection force. You can count on them, you can rely on them. Around the world, when women come into public office in bigger numbers, we do start to see changes in legislation. Anne-Marie Gertz of the UN Development Fund for Women, UNIFEM. A huge priority is to ensure that women get into public decision-making roles at every level, right down to the front line of the delivery of public services. I am Chief Inspector Kolubi Panio. I'm the Special Assistant in the Women and Children Protection Unit. Inspector Panya, a 49-year-old mother of three, is on that front line in Liberia. Women like her play a critical role as a culture of violence against women continues to haunt the country, says Liberia's Minister of Justice, Christiana Ta. There are undercurrents. There are underlying, unresolved issues. Issues that began during the conflict when an estimated 40% of all Liberia's women were attacked. Today, sexual violence rates remain staggeringly high, with some 50% of rape victims under the age of 15. It's a devastating fact that Inspector Panya must deal with every day. We had to check on cases of recent cases. What's the age of the victim? Of five years. Five years. Five years old. But before they can finish, another case comes in. A child allegedly beaten by a relative. She was found under a tree. When did the incident occur? Five, ten minutes. The child herself explained anything to you? I said anything, yeah. Panya races from station. We are on our way be there soon. To station. You've been here before? Yeah. Okay. Sees case after case. But securing justice for victims has not been easy in this post-conflict country. And so the women of Liberia once again spoke up, this time demanding a special court for sexual crimes. And in 2008, they got it. It's called Criminal Court E, the first of its kind in Africa. But experts say the work of bringing true security to the country is only just beginning. The key, they say, 
is continuing to invest in the power of women. Things can change when leaders are decisive and they're backed effectively by constituencies of women. That's an impressive lesson for the world. I'm very, very proud. I'm very proud of women. The women of Liberia are very determined women. They did a lot of work to bring peace and they would do a lot of work to maintain peace.